hello dear viewers uh, once again so welcome to my new lecture so this is uh, uh, another lecture so in this lecture uh, i am going to summarize the all antifungal drugs so this is a very short summary and these uh, contents uh, have been taken from the elephant card pharmacology so antifungal drugs uh, uh, it can be uh, divided into two groups the first one is drugs for the subcutaneous and systemic mycosis so it include uh, voriconazoles fusaconazoles and mecafungines ketoconazole etraconazole and flocytosine fluconazole and caspofungines and enerolofungines while empotericin b while uh, another one is uh, drugs for cutaneous mycosis that is uh, terconazole and terbinapine uh, nystatin meconazole grasofulvin aconazole clotrimazole and butoconazole so all these are the uh, antifungal agents and they are used for the variety of infections especially uh, the drug used for uh, subcutaneous and systemic mycosis which are already mentioned here while the second one is drugs for cutaneous mycosis okay now so uh, let's come toward the uh, basic mechanism of action of antifungal agents so this is very uh, easy to understand so look at on the screen you can see uh, the drug plocytosine so plocytosine the exact mechanism of plocytosine it can interfere with the protein synthesis another agent that is imidazole so imidazole it can interfere with ergosterol synthesis like clotrimazole ketoconazole terconazole and terbinafine so i mean that these drugs belong to the imidazoles as we know that in previous lecture uh, we have already discussed about the uh, topical antifungal agents and systemic antifungal agent uh, another one is pulines you can see in the center so uh, uh, that include uh, empotericin b i v administer used for systemic infection so it bind to ergosterol and cell wall causing leakage of material so empotericin b as a toxic to renal tubules while nestatine as an ointment for all our candidiasis trichomoniasis and many and more so natromycin is topical and used for eye infections so this is another agent triazole so it can interfere with their ergosterol synthesis like etroconazole fluconazole and many and more like voriconazole so all these drugs belong to the triazoles another one is grasofulvin so grasofulvin it can bind to the uh, carotene precursor and making the cell resistance to the fungal invasions while the uh, last agent that is uh, candines uh, echinocandines uh, that uh, so the mechanism of action of uh, candine it can inhibit glucans and fungal cell wall while the other antifungal agent like tolneptate and uh, hydroxy stibamidines while the potassium iodide and sulfonamide penicillins and undesilinic acids so this is a simple mechanism through which these drugs can stop or inhibit actually the growth of the uh, especially microorganism especially the fungus uh, which is responsible for the synthesis or production of ergosterols uh, now let's so come to our uh, classification based on mechanism of action so uh, on the basis of uh, i mean uh, uh, classification uh, based on mechanism of action uh, this fungal uh, cell wall uh, synthesis in inhibitions so uh, for fungal cell wall synthesis inhibitions uh, they are uh, uh, caspofungins so caspofungins actually pharmacologically caspofungins is fungal cell wall synthesis in inhibitors while empotericin and nystatin it can bind to the fungal cell membrane ergosterols while terbinapines and entofines and butenafine so it can inhibit the ergosterols which is the major component and lenosterol synthesis 
while the another uh, agent that is azole, so azole is also responsible for the inhibition of ergosterol synthesis and another drug is phyo flow cytosine so which cause inhibition of the nucleic acid synthesis uh, after that uh, these drugs can destroy or they can disrupt the mitotic spindles and inhibition of fungal mitosis like grasofalvin this is one of the uh, effective antifungal agent and miscellaneous include uh, cyclophyroxine, tunaftates and haloprogenes and many and more like topical azole and undicyclinic acids. Mechanism of resistance or uh, replacement of ergosterol by other sterols and fungal plasma membrane. So now what are the uh, nursing care? Uh, for the anti uh, fungal agents for example let's suppose if a patient and who is uh, infected by these uh, fungal infections so uh, what will be the uh, precautionary measurements and how the nurse they are responsible to uh, do patient counseling so so this is uh, very simple and easy so uh, it is uh, very important for each and every nurse to monitor the complete blood count CBC and uh, uh, BN blood urea and nitrogen electrolytes so all these levels can be monitored. Uh, the infusions or the uh, needle can be injected uh, slowly and fuse the drugs slowly as well as the administered antipyretics, corticosteroids, antihistamines prior to infusion to minimize the fibroid reactions like allergic and anaphylaxis reactions. Uh, monitors uh, different type of you can say uh, intake output frequently and many and more like administrations administer potassium supplements and instruct the clients to take medication for full length as prescribed uh, this is the reference uh, you can see here pharmacology varying HP tales so NM6 edition 2007 and so once again so i'm very thankful to all my viewers my students those who are studying and in pakistan or they're abroad so i'm very thankful to all of you uh, so uh, wish you all the best and if you have any question regarding my lecture inshallah i will try my best to bring a uh, little bit improvement and i'm always available for your services thank you so much